Well, we have arrived at the camping and caravanning and motorhome show at the NEC February 2023. We're currently in RP Motorhomes and we're going to take a look at the Rebellion 4, but there's also a gas free one, which we hope maybe we have a look at that in a moment yeah. later. So this is the Rebellion 4 all-wheel drive go anywhere van really. Yeah. So um, elevated lounge, so you've got a massive garage underneath, but you still have a beautiful lounge area. Okay. So feel free to go and have a look at that. So we're trying to put uh, as much storage as possible while still keeping comfort to a maximum. Um, so we have uh, you know, big drawers under here. You've got access to the garage through here uh, under this there, so you can put stuff straight in there. Making the bed is very easy. It's just a matter of pulling out this little bit here, yeah. and then you bring those two cushions and pop them, oh, okay. pop them down the middle. Oh, they're not, got, oh, they're not. This is one single um, cushion. Then, really. So you have a center, on. center line down the middle, um, so you can butterfly these up and actually access right. the garage as well. Yeah. Um, so it's 2.1 meters on one side, 1.9 on the other. So a good size bed. Okay. 1.7 meters wide. Uh, lots of stuff storage up top. Yeah. So for just soft things, coats, jumpers, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and we do actually do these as empty carcasses so you put your bedding inside those. Oh, that's a great idea. I like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that is a good idea. So this one's got, uh, this is the gas version. Yeah. Um, so we have a gas oven and grill. We've got a twin gas burners there, but we also have the electric induction hob as well. Um, we run a 89 litre fridge there. Okay. But there's also a 30 litre fridge or freezer on the end. There. All right, okay. So that can be either a fridge or a freezer. Yeah. So if you're going away for a long time, turn it into a freezer, fill it full of food, you're done. Uh, if you just want it as a beer fridge, you start it as a beer fridge. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, actually. <laughs> you read my mind. So we run uh, Victron Electronics over all our vans. Okay. So they're all, all Victron Electronics. Uh, this has got 260 amp hour batteries in it lithium obviously um, but it also has a three kilowatt inverter uh, so we can run the induction hob run the sockets uh, put your hair dryer in do whatever you like and that's all off grid yeah. yeah and obviously with being lithium batteries and a decent amount of power you can run them forever or well, a decent amount of time yeah. anyway. amazing and what's the heating uh, it's a truman d6 e okay. uh, diesel boiler of course this is the gas one it's the gas one but we don't run the boiler on the gas Oh. Because if you run out of gas, then you're cold and you're hungry. Of course. Okay. So at least if you've got a diesel heater, you're hungry but you're warm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So as long as you've got diesel in the tank, you're good to go. This is the slightly older style bathroom. This is last year's model um, of bathroom. So a 19 litre cassette toilet um, and a little sink in there. Yeah. There is an option of um, a Ogo uh, compost toilet. Okay. Which gives you about three weeks worth of usage before you need to empty it. So it's good. This definitely is then go off road and stay off road for a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Most of our customers just vanish for two months at a time, three yeah. months at a time, and they're gone. Yeah. Um, max air fan above you. Okay. So you can vent the uh, vent into the bathroom, so you can open the window and just vent all the steam straight out. Uh, there's air conditioning under the garage at the back as well. yeah and again that can work off the inverter so you can run that run that off grid as well okay so really comfortable so how long can you last for off grid with just solar i guess just solar or if you really need a bit of power you can just turn the engine on and just yeah. we've got two dc dcs in there so that puts 60 amps straight back into the batteries so how long so, do, you think, do you think you'd be able to last oh well indefinitely depends on how you depends use the, the weather and everything, doesn't it? yeah Weather, how much solar is coming in, how much you're driving around. How much beer you got yeah. in the fridge. Right? Yeah, fridges and, and well, what are we pulling at the moment? What we got here? So we're doing 7.8 amps at the moment. We've got all the lights on and uh, the fridge is running. So. Okay, so you're not plugged into the uh, hall? No. Okay. No, we're not. No, we're just running the, running the van off its own power. Yeah. Costs you money otherwise. <laughs> so a full fly screen on the front as well. Yeah, big overheads there. Sorry. Sorry. Another overhead on that side. Yeah. Stereo. I want the stereo, yeah. 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 You see that. You normally have to uh, use this 
stereo in the front there. Yeah. Which is a huge screen. And everything's all, you know, nice blum soft closed drawers. Nice big drawers. Yeah. Microwave, I've just noticed. Yep. Deep yep. sink as well. Proper I sink. See that. Yeah. Proper sink. And you can use. You've got. Oh, okay. Worked it's up. A bit of a. Yeah. You've got. More worked up. And there. And this looks like it folds out too. That pops up there too. Plenty of space. And if I had my little widget, you've also got a draining board. So it's just a little piece of corium we fit on there. Yeah. That, that produced the draining board. Yeah. 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 We try our best. We're only a small company, but we can uh, certainly mix it with the big yeah. boys. So. Fantastic. Got your water and uh, temperature gauges there. Yeah. Wi Fi up here as well. And obviously the tent box on the roof. Yeah. Just oh, yeah, I love the tent, yeah. tent box. What would you normally keep in a tent box then? I mean, that size, it looked like it was quite small. It's it's bigger than it looks. It's about oh, seven it? feet long that. Um, there's a ladder on the back? I've not ladders on the side, right. or you can get to it through the through the roof light at the back as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's quite cool. Great, okay, thank you very much. No worries, very welcome. Oh, and how much is it? Uh, this one sits at 176. 176, okay. Yeah. The next one we're going to be looking at is the RP Rebellion 2, brand new for this year. And this is fully electric, there's no gas or anything like that, but we do, we do have a diesel petrol drivetrain. Diesel. It's diesel drivetrain. Yeah. So this is the new uh, two litre twin turbo uh, Mercedes engine that they've brought out. Oh, okay. So it's brand new uh, on the Formatic four wheel drive, or all wheel drive as they now call it. <laughs> I'll show you around the back. So it's the same same garage as the four, but obviously we've now got socking great big yeah, wow, inverter. Like so that. it's seven kilowatt inverter. So you could literally plug your house into this van and, and run your house off it. Yeah, that it goes all the way back there as well. That yeah, yeah, off. it's a it's a deep thing. It's a deep. <laughs> it's a deep thing. Um, so to power that, we've got two 24 volt batteries in there, okay. 200 amps each. Yep. So obviously in 12 volt language you're looking at 800 amps lithium power, so it's a lot of power. Um, and then we have a, uh, solar on the roof, so there's three solar panels, uh, two running the uh, habitation side, yep. and then there's one that charges the van battery. Oh, okay, so, so you're never out of power. No, never out of, uh... Uh, which is good because we, we run electric sliding doors on all the vehicles, so they draw a little bit of power. Do you really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I like that, just so you don't so much get that slam, it just goes shh. Yeah, just goes clunk. So, wow. Which is lovely. I'm seeing that happening. Yeah. <laughs> uh, problem is the steps are in the way, but yeah, we'll handle right it. Now, but yeah. you know, um, it could, it could. Twin water tanks, 200 litres of water. That's the grey boxes, is it? Those are, yep, those two boxes there. So you can fill from either side, yeah. empties together, goes down the centre of the van. So 200 litres of water. Uh, you've got the grey tank is on, under, the, under the van. So everything's on board, in board, so no worries about anything freezing. And now uh, I notice you've got, uh, you can, yeah. got these, uh, what yep. call, but straps for... Yeah, it's all the unistrut and the yeah. uh, uh, rails on there, so that's all good. We've got an outdoor shower point there, okay. mm -hmm. hot and cold. That just clips up here. Big shower curtain on here as well, no. so you can have a, have a wow. really nice outside. Shower room? Yeah. And then battery side, um, if you're really hammering the inverter, Obviously, you're drawing the power from the batteries. We have a second generator on the engine, uh, which oh, okay. is a, something that we've worked out recently. So similar to the four, but we just change everything from the front of the bathroom forward changes. Yep. So we now have the, the seating area at the front without a belted seat, but you get more wardrobe space, more storage space. You notice no gas hobs. Oh yes, so, so what's this little thing? That's an air fryer. Oh. <laughs> but yeah. Air fryer there. They and get then, everywhere these days, air yeah. fryers. But then uh, piston Is that an resistance. Ice, uh, maker? This thing? No, coffee maker. No. It's Bob the dishwasher. You're kidding me. You have a nope. dishwasher. <laughs> we have a dishwasher. <laughs> and it's actually more efficient than uh, than filling the sink up with water. It doesn't use much water at all. So. 
Yeah. Is that going to be a new thing for RP motorhomes? Yeah, it's just it's just another option you can have. Because of so. course that one didn't have them, Ford didn't have any. No, Ford didn't have one. Oh, the new um, model of that, would you think you might put one of them in? We would struggle okay. because if you've got the gas, you then your oven's here. You haven't got here. an oven? Yeah, right, so this gotcha. takes the face of the oven. Yeah. If not, you could have it as drawers or cupboards. So that's all good. Yeah. Uh, another big Victron screen with all the power management. But then this one's got the Ogo toilets. This is our new a new bathroom arrangement so you don't have that big bit of corridor down the side anymore no so instantly you've got a bigger a bigger space oh, there's no yeah there's no uh, sink no until you do this oh look at that and all the part all the pipes are built into the hinges all 3d printed oh, that, is and it just goes away recyclable at all? no not at the moment it all just goes moment. into the gray tank about it. I know it's, it's, it's all yeah it's all thought there's, there's companies out there that that produce well, mispronounced so. adventures does it Heard, heard of that guy no, I haven't. Yeah, he's no. done it to his van. Right, so the compost toilet's a, a separating one, so you've got your solids in the back and your yeah. liquids in the front. Um, and then just to, you can just dump the uh, pee quite easily, so that just comes out out the front and you've got your, you go into that. So they reckon you've got about three weeks worth of usage out of the solids before you need emptying it. Okay. So for an off-grid vehicle. Know me. <laughs> for an off-grid vehicle you, you're good to go yeah. um, and then if you want a really nice shower what we can do is pull those two pins just take the whole thing out no wow yep because of course there's no well it is the tank as well as everything else yeah. isn't it so that just comes just that, that just comes out, out. put that in the lounge yeah <laughs> <laughs> or in the kitchen that's why not but then you got <laughs> the size of the shower you've got now yeah you've got a in a panel van and we've got that's, enough to, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Now it does look like the uh, uh, 12 volt fridge freezer, but yes. I don't want to get that confused. Yeah. But I suppose if you're staying in the same place and you're wilding it, then you could actually just put it outside the bat. Yeah. Just use it outside, yeah. and you've got a really nice fridge. that curtain as well. Yeah. yeah. As long as it's not windy. <laughs> so we do all our uh, 3D printing in house. We do all our upholstery in house. We do all the timber work in house, all the corian work. So pretty much everything you see, everything you touch is. Yeah. Built by us. And how much is this, this one? 196,000. Wow. <laughs> you've got to be serious off road if you want to. Yeah. 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 So, so you've got the power generator that's buried under the seat there. It's attached to the engine. But it does allow you to, it's a three kilowatt generator basically. So if you're hammering the batteries, you know, you've got your air fryer on, you've got both induction heaters, uh, induction hobs, dishwasher's running, you've got a microwave on, and your wife's doing her hair in the back. It can all be done on the inverter that we've got yeah. so you're not just limited to running the toaster for a bit and having to turn off the hob or whatever incredible so, tons of power yeah yeah we've got a lot of power um and again you've got your storage at the back exactly the same as the other one right brilliant so is yeah. there a wardrobe or anything like that to pull? oh okay right in front of me wardrobe's there and then the trimmer heater's underneath that, so it stays nice and warm, keeps your clothes warm. Gotcha. And this one's got the iMac on it. Yeah, noticed. <laughs> yeah, okay. And uh, what kilowatts have you got on the roof? Uh, there's three 105 panels, so 300, about 310, 315 watts. All right. Like I said, that's split up to 100 into the fan battery, 200 into the yeah. that side of things. 